Norwood police taking an active stand against criticism over how it handled this fight between teens all caught on camera. Six kids face misdemeanor charges for allegedly ganging up on one boy in the video. Nine on your side anchor Tanya O'Rourke takes a look at the conversation that has the city talking tonight. This video sparking a scathing message on Facebook to Norwood police from a citizen. The writer upset about a beating allegedly by some African American teens to a white teenager. The unknown author writes, I'm appalled that you are not charging these black kids with a hate crime for attacking this white kid. Your department must be afraid of blacks. Guess you're worried about the blacks protesting. The author goes on to call Norwood officers cowards, to which Norwood Police Information Officer Lieutenant Ron Murphy writes, everyone is treated equally, fairly, and with dignity and respect. We are not cowardly. I just thought it was perfect. I thought his response was absolutely 100% spot on. Norwood Chief of Police William Kramer says this particular message deserved a response. Because, you know, we're not cowards. And it's just as he said, you know, we do what we can within the law. Which is what the lieutenant points out, the specifics of the law called ethnic intimidation and when it can and can't be used. Murphy writes, in this case, there is no evidence that the crime was committed because of race. At one point, the unknown author writes, you are being called the most cowardly police department in Ohio. Hope you can sleep tonight. Lieutenant Murphy's response is this. Most times we sleep well. We sleep well because we work hard. So this guy sent an email and he did it, you know, by the anonymity of his, his computer. And I mean, he could have simply called us. I mean, he was rather hateful in the letter. We're, we're more than happy to answer questions. And sometimes they'll answer them so everyone can see. Tanya O'Rourke, nine on your side. Now, folks are responding to this on Norwood's Facebook page, and mostly they are applauding Lieutenant Murphy. Six teenagers, all 13 and 14 years old, will appear in court later this month for the beating all caught on camera that you saw there. Mm.